All right, guys, Alec Pierce Vintage Scoop, uh, another little uh, chat about the famous Skin Diver magazine, the Skin Diver magazine. Now, this is volume two. Uh, Kevin will put it on there if, if you haven't seen it. I don't know when it was, a short while ago, we did volume one, the very first Skin Diver magazine, starting in December of 1951. An interesting story about that. Watch that episode. This is 1953, and it's volume two. Okay, so January of 1953 was volume two, number one. And I had mentioned earlier that the cover of Skin Diver magazine over the years, over the 50 years it was in business, uh, uh, reflected the sport. Okay, so what I mean by that is here we are, 1951, 52, 53 now, um, the sport was spearfishing. It's that simple. Spearfishing. That's what scuba was all about. There were no decent cameras, not really. And, and uh, you know, we were just exploring shipwrecks. Why? They're just old beat-up boats. Well, let's go and get a nice big fish. Yeah, that's what it was all about. And that's reflected on the, on the picture. Now, a couple of things kind of interesting I noticed as I picked this up. Okay? This is read and written by the world's greatest sportsman. <laughs> This is a little bit early for me. I started diving in 58, a few years from now. But that must have that must have really appealed to the scuba divers, the skin divers of the day, world's greatest sportsmen, okay? But this picture's pretty interesting, too. All the previous ones, if you look at the prior episode, are about guys with spear guns and great big fish. And we're talking great big fish. And we're not talking a, a, a 10-pound bass. We're talking a 600-pound grouper. Yeah, 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 yeah. So take a look at some of those. But here's another example. This is kind of neat because what is it they say, Kevin? The family that uh, spearfishes together stays together. That's the way it works. <laughs> this is a family shot. Yeah, there's, I don't know who it is, dad, and, and it could be a mom or dad and a couple of, oh, it looks, it looks like mom actually and a couple of girls maybe out there spearfishing together, trying to find a nice fish and enjoy it. So there's a the family that spearfishes together, stays together. I go with that, okay? Same type of magazine as we saw previously, nice ad on the back. Now here we are, back to a good spear fisherman. There's a nice spear fisherman with two nice fish on there. <clears throat> and then here's the third dish. Now, this one's a little bit different because there's no spear, spear fishermen showing in this one. It just shows a whole bunch of Sergeant Major fish on a reef. Maybe someone took a nice picture, which wasn't easy to do back then, and so the publisher decided to go with it on there. However, don't be mistaken, a magazine for skin divers and spear fishermen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's not get mixed up here. Uh, here's a fellow here, and he's got... Uh, He's got a, S a S Sam Miller special gun, and I don't know what the heck that is, but look at it. has got a compressed air on the front, because uh, a lot of spear guns back then, I've sold quite a few, used a, a, a tank, a small tank of air or carbon dioxide to power them. That looks like that's what he has, but he's definitely spear a spear fisherman. And here's another one, no question about what this guy's out there doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the ad in the back is pretty neat as well. Uh, have more fun. Enjoy greater safety. Learn all the fine points of underwater safety from recognized experts. <laughs> yeah, the, the Sparling School of Diving. Uh, pretty neat. What a wonderful time to be alive. Scuba diving was a brand new sport. Now, here's a fellow here, not a very good picture, but there's a diver down here, and you get lining up to shoot that nice big fish down there. And let's go on. This is July, uh, July of 1953. Wow. I'm not going to say anything. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Okay. Nothing wrong with that fish. Um, um, I would take that fish. No question about it. And uh, here's a bunch of pictures from the 1952 National Underwater Spearfishing Championships. Just a collage of pictures of the divers and the fish they brought in. They used to have spearfishing championships, and they would go out in teams. And through the day, the teams would bring their fish in to be measured, to be weighed and measured. At the end of the day, the contest is over. At that time, it would all be toted up, and the winners would get trophies and prizes. Another spear fisherman. And there are the, some of the champions on here. Uh, Bill Franklin Hope, 
took Jaffe and, uh, uh, from that contest. So you see, it was all about spearfishing. In the 50s, it was all about spearfishing. Here's, a, here's an interesting picture. This is a drawing. This is not a photograph, a drawing. So what's the drawing about? Well, a drawing is about a spear fisherman <laughs> lining up to shoot a nice big fish. Huh, why not? That's what it's all about. Out on the back for Cornelius uh, compressors, Kevin. Yeah, sure, divers had their own compressor because there was no local dive stores. And so yeah, if you wanted to, if you wanted to uh, fill your tanks, you had to have a compressor. This one's the very first one, Kevin. The very first one I've seen so far. There are, he's not a spear fisherman. He's a photographer. Now we know that there were photographers, Kevin, <laughs> because we have a couple of, not very good, a couple of underwater photographs on the front cover. This is the first front cover of Skin Diver magazine that actually has a photographer. I don't know, but there's a spear fisherman, and it appears to me that he has uh, taken a large octopus. Oh, why not? Octopus are good to eat, as long as you don't waste the meat, and uh, there's lots of them around, but it's interesting. And that is the Merry Christmas issue. Merry Christmas, Skin Divers. December 1953, Volume 2, Number 12. There you go. Hope you enjoyed that. There's more coming because I want to show you how it's changed. Up to now, it's been spear fishermen, guys with monstrous fishes and so on. We'll see how it changes. Talk to you soon, Alec Pierce, Vintage Scuba.